In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for CHO minus. So first, when we draw the Lewis structure, we need to count up the valence electrons here for CHO minus. Carbon on the periodic table, group 14, sometimes called 4A, has four. Hydrogen's in group one, it has one. Oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, has six. Then we need to add an additional electron here for the negative charge. When we add these numbers up, we get a total of 12 valence electrons for the CHO minus Lewis structure. So we'll put the least electronegative element at the center of our Lewis structure. So we'll put the carbon here. Hydrogen, it always goes on the outside. So we'll put that there. And then we have our oxygen atom. We'll put electrons between atoms, and that's going to form our chemical bond. So we've used four. We have a total of 12. Let's complete the octet on the oxygen atom here. So at this point, we used eight, 10, and we have two more. We'll put those on the central carbon. At this point, the oxygen, it has an octet. The hydrogen, it only needs two, but that central carbon only has six. Let's move these two here to form a double bond. So now the oxygen, it still has the eight. The carbon though, it has eight. So this is the Lewis structure for CHO minus. We should put brackets around it and then a negative sign to show that it's an ion. So that's our Lewis structure for CHO minus. Let's look at the molecular geometry really quickly. Note we have one, two atoms bonded to that central carbon and one lone pair. So the purple, that's gonna represent the central carbon atom. We'll add the hydrogen atom there, single bond, and then we'll add that double bonded oxygen. So at this point, we have a linear molecular geometry, but we have to add that lone pair. And when we do that, it pushes these down and we end up with this bent molecular geometry, by an angle about 120 degrees. If you looked at the electron geometry, that would actually be in a plane. If we look at the, just the electron geometry, that's in a plane, so we call that trigonal planar. But the molecular geometry for CHO minus, that's going to be bent. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. If you use the AXE notation to find the molecular geometry for CHO minus, A would be the central atom, X, number of atoms bonded. We just have the two, the hydrogen, the oxygen. E would be the lone pairs. We have one. You'd look this up, you'd see that you have a bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and molecular geometry and bond angles for CHO minus. Thanks for watching.